Um, so good evening, good evening, everyone. Um, I'm delighted to be here. Thank you, thank you so much for having me and for giving me. about my research. So this talk is drawn primarily from my very recently uh, published <laughs> book, uh, Racism um, and the Weakness of Christianity. At the very beginning of Poetics of Relation, Edouard Glissant contemplates the living dynamics of thought. Where philosophy is so often reduced to a dimensionless place, isolated and removed from the chaotic flux of evolving culture, he says, thought in reality spaces out into the world. It informs the imaginary of peoples, their varied poetics, which it then transforms, meaning in them its risk becomes realized. thought in reality? That's the question. What is the risk of thought? Is thought for itself? Do I exist in thought? What happens when thought realizes it's not alone? To exist is to be at risk. The realization of risk is not the end of risk but an act of faith, a thought in faith. Thought in reality, exposed to its outside, its others with other thoughts, has no assured direction. It risks, and in risking thought, there is always the possibility of both, the best as for the worst, the one never coming without opening the possibility of the other. Best as for the worst, the messianic structure of experience. This is thought in reality. Risk in realization, opening an assemblage. What is the source of faith? What is the moment of knowledge? Reality is not outside the thing, trying to get inside. Outside and inside are two invisible things, a Mobius strip, the sense of sense, the alterity of alterity, two times the space, the space between making visible the blank space. Interiority and exteriority make of myself. Reality is not the only point of view outside the thing. Reality is not trying to get inside. Outside and inside. Outside and inside. The sense of sense are two invisible the space things. between a Mobius strip interiority and exteriority the sense of sense outside the thing the alterity of alterity are two invisible things two times the space the alterity of alterity the space between making visible the making visible the make of myself blank space trying to get inside interiority and exteriority a Mobius strip make of myself two times the space the only point of view blank space the only point of view.
Thought and reality exist in ecological relation. In reality, there are forms of life with their own worlds, their own thought. Thought creates its own world, its environment, but no thought can observe itself in reality. There is no absolute thought, no absolute world. The one is lost. We know reality through our blind spots. First term, autopoiesis, self-creation, occurs at the level of singularities, tautological. The thinking subject produces itself, by itself, and through itself. Its fundamental operation is the distinction between system and environment, self and other, world and God. Second term, sympoiesis, creation in symphony, takes place through the relations of multiple autopoietic systems, a worlding with, in company. Singularities are never truly singular. No system emerges simply as an event of sufficient self-creation apart from others. Creation is always contingent, an ecological event. Organize the relation, specify the self, structured actuality, in singular story, specify the self without measuring of universal flux, the unified and self, life death. Organize the relation story of universal and mythic flux, origin and mythic origin, no reality, the ontogenic without ground measuring of virtual the system, ontogenic ground in structured actuality, general structure and life death, the unified self, we know reality, of virtual system as a general structure, and infinite environment and infinite environment. Nicholas Luhmann. For cognition, only what serves in a given case as a distinction is a guarantee of reality, an equivalent of reality. It is, however, precisely as this unity that the distinction cannot be observed. Reality is what one does not perceive when one perceives it. Enter religion. Transcendence, the negative value of the code, what you don't see. The unobservable must become observable. Thought in reality, a negative theology of unknowing. God is seen and not seen through the negative value, the reflective value, through transcendence.
distinction between distinctions. We cannot see it, but we must approach it, and so we make distinctions. Theology can only be a discipline of the fallen, an original act of what some would call sin, but we would simply call drawing a distinction. System and environment, world and God, at the origin. the spirit blackness is there give us the reason god is there before all else so we wait blackness is there as one mystical flesh as one mystical flesh a red giant and rising flame till the spirits of nameless name rising flame she says burn out god is there give us the reason in a red giant nameless name burn out pondering death pondering death i know Self as a god. God is a finite thing that exists. The god who will die for us. Of nothing is nothing and nothing else. To know without divination, I know is simply death myself as i know a god god is god is a god a finite of thing nothing that exists to know a god myself as who will die a finite thing for us who will die of nothing is nothing is nothing without divination and nothing else a god to know that exists without divination for us is simply and death. nothing else is simply death. Reality is a living material, in the flesh. The generative calling of creation's swerve, the living common. It is the flesh and not the body, after Hortense Spillers, that calls us. The zero degree of social conceptualization The unitary weave of the difference between bodies. The materiality of a common non-belonging. The flesh is the threshold of the body that marks both its enclosure and its opening. It is simultaneously inside and outside. of system and environment, the hidden God, the relation of relation. My body is made of the same flesh as the world, an element of being, a general thing, an incarnate principle that brings a style of being wherever there is a fragment of being. There is no end in the flesh. 
every end is a new beginning. The new thing we found in the old thing drowns out every other thing in green's queen. The voice whispering breaths seeming shapes bringing round depth impression and lost elation the new thing of found feeling endures all gradation the new thing the new thing drowns out we found it the voice the old thing bringing round drowns out the new thing every other thing we found in in green's queen every other thing the voice whispering breaths whispering breaths depth impression seeming shapes of found feeling bringing round the old thing depth impression green's queen and lost elation seeming shapes the new thing and lost elation of found feeling endures all gradation endures all gradation reflects the kind of social and undetermined possibilities inherent in the fleshly and social drive to invent new forms of life through the production of cosmologies, theologies, cultural significations, rituals and practices, arts, and to be sure, counterpolitics of life in America. Glissant. I say that poetry is flesh. Flesh and poetics, the auto-poetics of being, a general structure of experience, the best as for the worst, the risk of faith.
social poesis occurs in the community's turn towards the ineffable, a reality beyond all self-referential culture. Glissant. Culture is the precaution of those who claim to think thought, but who steer clear of its chaotic journey. Evolving cultures infer relation, the overstepping that grounds their unity diversity. We imagine a deeper reality, the one reality, unattainable, incomplete, in and as flesh. In the faith of flesh, we disseminate out towards an inexhaustible ecology of wonder and mystery, an undoing of self, a knowledge becoming. <laughs>